Hi, this is Darren from AppRadar. Welcome to the video. And today I'm going to be reviewing a software called Peppertype.ai. Now, Peppertype.ai is basically another AI writing assistant that helps you create content on the fly by giving it a few examples, keywords, basically, of what you want it to write about. I've been using the software now for a good couple of hours, so I'm going to take you through how to use it, what I like about the product, what I don't like about the product. So you can basically make that informed decision as to whether you think this software is right for you or not. So without any further ado, let's get into the review itself and uh, let's see what the software can do. Repertype are actually running a lifetime deal at this moment in time over on AppSumo. Now I've left a link to this offer in the description below should you want to go and check it out. So there's basically got three tiers and it starts from $59 all the way up to $249. As you can see, the $59 allows you up to 7,500 words per month. The $139 and the $249 allows you unlimited total words on both of those and 15,000 words and 70,000 words on the long form content. If you feel this software is right for you, then it's a really good deal to go and get right this minute in time. So let's get over to the dashboard and let's go and see what the software can do. As you can see, the dashboard is quite simple in the way in which it's laid out, which I really like. Everything that you want to do is basically from this screen here, and you've either got the main headings here. If you choose like social media, then it obviously breaks it down into the actual subcategories, copywriting, SEO, e-commerce, or product itself, or you can go to the all. As we scroll down, you can see that they've got quite a few modules that you can choose from to actually go and generate your content. Now, from what I understand about Peppertype, it's more of a short form content. However, they do have a long form content, which I'm going to be showing a lot more of shortly in the video. But I'm going to take you through a few of the short form contents to show you exactly what the software does and basically how it works. Rather than sort of going through them all, I've chosen a few of them because I quite like this one here, which is the content rewriter. What I like about this particular content writer is it actually rewrites the content correctly. So I'm going to show you how that works now. Now, I've got some things pre-written down from when I was actually playing with the software earlier on just to speed the process up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase something um, like Kartra, and um, it's obviously like put this all in for me because that's what I used earlier on. So what I want to do is I want to rewrite this. Now I got this basically from um, the Kartra sales page itself. So if I was going to put this on my blog or on um, like a video description, something like that, I'd want to kind of rewrite this. So we'll do that and we'll create, you can actually go uh, um, advanced options as well and you could put tone of voice in there, but I'll leave that for now. And I'll just go and create content. So basically what it's done, it's actually re rewritten what I wanted to write. If I drag across what I originally wrote to put this in, I put Kartra is the only all-in-one sales funnel builder that can aid all online businesses to make their online ventures more appealing for the customers and also make it also make its management much easier through the software provided by Kartra. So this is put this is the only all-in-one sales funnel software, sorry, sales funnel builder that can work for anybody from any kind of business, health, fitness, etc. So you can see it does a really good job of actually rewriting it. It's not like the usual rubbish that these things actually spit out. It's actually rewritten it into a language that we would probably be, you know, be used to using and reading ourselves. So if you actually read that on um, a blog or something like that, it would actually make a lot of sense. Now, one of the things that I did like about this product, uh, which I'll actually kind of get into a lot later on in the video, is this blog ideas. So if you've actually got a blog and you're not really too sure what to create next, this will actually give you some blog ideas. So I'm going to base the rest of this review on this itself. So we're going to click on blog ideas. I created like a bit of a brand called the Doggo Digest, which is basically going to be all about obviously dogs. So what you do is you create a description. So the description is really what your blog's about, okay? So I've put a blog for pet owners that offers tips, tricks, and advice to help them to help them make their pet's life much more enjoyable. So we're going to create content. What you're going to do is just going to give us some ideas to write about. So if we look through some of these, um, providing reasons why you shouldn't trust a pet grooming service advice. Not really too sure about that one, but I like this one. How to keep your dog safe in winter. 10 hilarious yet scary dog facts how to choose the perfect dog harness that's like a really good one as well five effective tips to train your dog i actually like that to see whether it'll actually generate you know the five t the five um 
five tips six ways to keep your dog from becoming aggressive i like actually all of them so what i'm going to do i'm going to take one of these here um how to keep your dog safe in the winter and i'm going to copy that and i put it over onto a little document so we're going to click back home and uh we're going to go down to click on the seo again and i'm going to go to blog outline so we'll do doggo digest again i'm going to take that and put that in and that's really the the uh, the blog topic that it's just generated for us so click on create content so these are the outlines that it's actually given us so far. so tips for dog owners i mean obviously that's something that um the blog was called anyway so it's not probably won't use this one but this one's quite good is your dog safe in the snow ways to keep your dog safe in the winter how to keep your dog safe from common winter ailments hot or cold how to keep your dog warm in winter i quite like that one uh, this one's a little bit more generic your dog is a family member uh why did dog get lost so i'm going to use this one okay so is your dog safe in the snow we'll click on copy that and i'll put that into my document and uh we're going to go back home now what we now need to do is we now need to start fleshing out um this blog content itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on to the blog heading expander because what i've got so far is this okay so this is the blog content so obviously this was the idea this is what it's given us and this is the outline so what i'm going to do i'm going to take each one of these now and i'm going to expand on these to try and obviously create the content itself i move that back off screen i'll explain why i'm doing this shortly so we're going to do blog expander and the brand's going to be do doggo dying chest again this blog topic here is obviously what we've just created with the blog idea and the section heading is is your dog safe in the snow and we'll click create content so this is what it's given us keeping your dog safe in winter is often a difficult task winter can bring ice and snow which can be slippery for humans so it's natural for them to think of their pets pets as well wild dogs etc etc so it's done like a pretty good job so how to keep your dog safe in winter so it's kind of given us a bit of an outline there um like a blog intro as opposed to um you know what i wanted to sell but i'm going to take it i'm going to do copy and i'm going to put that into my document and so what i did is basically just pause the video and just flesh this out a little bit more just by doing exactly what i've been showing you what i've been doing um, so I've taken all of these headings that it sort of created for us and just putting them into the software itself just so that it can sort of generate a little bit more um, text for me. So there's one thing that I have not done yet, which I'm going to do now, which is um, the blog intro. So we're going to go back to the home and uh, we'll go into SEO. It's easy to find and we'll go to blog intro and we'll do the doggo digest keep you safe yeah that would do that this should basically create um a blog intro for us okay so this um this one here is a little bit um so we've got dogs tend to have more behavior in the winter uh and then it kind of goes a magazine topic how to find cheap flights so i don't really think that's anything related but it's so nothing more depressing than knowing that your dog has been out in the cold or rain while you're at work uh, I quite like that one. So I'm going to take that one and I'm going to put that into my document. Okay, so I've just then basically created this document here. So this is really like the, um, I guess, like the blog uh, that I'm going to create. What I'll do now, because it's, it's obviously like generated like a, a bit of a conclusion, I will go ahead and I will create a conclusion. In the advanced options, obviously, you can have call to action, you know, if you was, if you was going to, um, you know, like create an affiliate product or something like that. But I'll create the content. So this is really what it's given us. Um kind of like this one, probably the best. Um, the winter months are particularly challenging for your dog. It's important to know. We hope you learned a lot from this blog post. We hope your pup has a wonderful winter. I kind of like this one the better, so I'm going to click on copy that. And uh, we're going to put this into the conclusion area itself. So that's basically what it's given us. Now, the reason why I was doing that um, is because the long form editor in Pepper Type AI isn't what we traditionally know as a long form editor. So you've got to keep um, like generating the content from the modules itself. So as you sort of saw, I went through, I created uh, the blog idea, the blog outline, the intro, conclusion. You've got to keep sort of copying and pasting that across. 
will basically go and have a look at a word count. So it's basically generated us um, 721 words at this moment in time just by doing that. And it's sort of created a pretty good foundation, I think, um, for a blog that we could actually go and write. As you can see, Pepper Type AI works relatively well. It's a well thought out product and it's easy to use. That's some of the things that I do like about it in the fact that you can come into there. I mean, I spent a couple of hours on it and sort of really got to grips with how the program works. And I could sort of generate some really good content relatively quickly. The thing that I don't like about it is this long form editor, which is really what I would be looking for in um, an AI writing assistant tool. The long form editor literally is a long form in that it takes a long time to generate your content. You've got to keep copying and pasting into a new document to build out your article itself. And it's kind of hard to see how the flow goes. For me, that would be a bit of a deal breaker when there are better alternatives out there. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Peppertype AI system. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you again soon.